Another National Hockey League coach is facing allegations of abuse from former players. This time, it's Chicago Blackhawks assistant coach Mark Crawford, who's been placed on leave pending an investigation. CTV's Angie Seth has more on that story for us this morning. Angie, we have another coach now facing controversy. That's right, Marcia. Harsh reality uh, we're seeing here with regards to a game that so many love. And as you mentioned, an investigation underway involving the assistant coach of the Chicago Blackhawks. On their Twitter page, the team announced, quote, they will be conducting Conducting review of assistant coach Mark Crawford based on allegations made regarding his conduct with another team. They said Crawford would be away from the team during this time. Now, this comes after former NHL forward Sean Avery told the New York Post he had allegedly been kicked by Crawford after receiving a penalty back in 2007. Despite that, however, Avery responded to the Blackhawks' tweet yesterday saying Crawford, quote, was a demanding coach who would actually fight for his players and gave him a great opportunity to be a better teammate, even though Avery was difficult. Take a listen to what Avery had to say. Mark Crawford had every right in the world to kick me in the ass. He should have sp spanked my ass a little bit more. I deserved it. I loved Crow. He was my second favorite NHL coach. But Patrick O'Sullivan, who played for Crawford when he was coaching the LA Kings, has has a much more harsh response, tweeting this last week, quote, I talked about his physical abuse in my book four years ago, kicking me and others on the bench. Verbal abuse included homophobic slurs on a regular basis. I look forward to participating in your investigation. Now, Crawford has been the Blackhawks, with the Blackhawks, rather, since June. Before that, he served as head coach in Ottawa, Vancouver, Los Angeles, Dallas, as well as Colorado, leading the Colorado Avalanche to a Stanley Cup in 1996. This all coming after Calgary Flames coach Bill Peters resigned Friday following racism allegations against uh, regarding a Nigerian-born minor league player. This happening a decade ago. Others have since claimed Peters was physically abusive during his time with the Carolina Hurricanes. So back to Crawford now. Another player has come forward last year about his conduct. Speaking to Barstool Sports, former NHLer Brent Sopel said Crawford kicked and choked him, Marcia, while he was playing for Vancouver back in the 2000s. And former Maple Leafs coach Mike Babcock is back in hot water today. What's the latest that's, with him? That's right. This all kind of coming out now after Babcock was released from the Leafs. Uh, more players coming forward, revealing the type of coach uh, Babcock. Uh, Johan Frazen, for example, played for Babcock on the Detroit Red Wings. He referred to him as the worst person he's ever met. Frazen told Swedish media well, Babcock was a great coach, but a, quote, terrible person and bully. He says that from 2011 onwards, he was terrified of being at the rink after relentless verbal attacks from Babcock. Former teammate Chris Chelios also backed up Frazen's story on Barstool Sports' podcast. Here's what he had to say. Some of the things he said to him on the bench, I don't know what he said to him behind closed doors one on one, but he's blatantly, you know, verbally assaulted him during the game on the bench. And it got to the point where poor Johan, you know, no one really knowing that he was suffering with the concussion thing and, and the depression thing, uh, he just broke down and had a nervous breakdown, not only on the bench, but after the game in one of the rooms in Nashville. So that was probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Chalio says what happened in Babcock's past is coming back to haunt him now, not for his coaching tactics per se, but the way he treated people, which seems to be this growing trend, Marcia, that we're seeing as more of, the, more of these stories come out. Okay, Angie, and I don't think it's over. Far it's from coming. over. Yeah, okay, thank you. And You're with more in that, uh, on this subject, the Swift Current Broncos Junior Hockey Club has announced that they are releasing their longtime head athletic trainer, Jeremy Jamie, Jamie LeBlanc, in a statement, the team said the decision was made following revelations of a recent pattern of demeaning and derogatory comments, threatening behavior and unprofessional conduct. The club says it won't comment further because it's a personnel issue. LeBlanc had been with the team since 2001.